today we are going to be going over uh, one of my favorite tactics, which is called a fork. Now, to those of you who do not know what a tactic is, a tactic is a move or a series of moves that help us achieve either uh, winning of points or more points than our opponent um, or help us achieve checkmate. Um, when, it, when it comes to forks, I think it's very important to mention that any piece in chess can do a fork. Um, why, why is this so important is because other tactics that I will be going over in the future, actually not every single chess piece can do it. Uh, now, before I go in, I do want to make, uh, I do want to mention that kings are, kings can create forks, but the problem is with a kink is that kings cannot capture protected pieces. So they are generally not the best, uh, the best pieces to create forks, but, uh, so let's begin. So what is a fork? Well, a fork is when you attack multi two or more pieces at the same time, but it can also be when you attack a piece and create a threat. Um, or even the third scenario could be when you when you make a move to create two or more threats in the game. And uh, why is this such, an, uh, such a strong move? Is because your opponent will not be able to defend everything. So they will have to choose what, they, what is more important for them to keep in the game. Um, well, let's, uh, let's actually begin. So as I mentioned, any piece in chess can do a fork. So we are actually going to be going over uh, my, my favorite piece, which is the knight. And actually the knight is, uh, is very, very good at actually doing this tactic. Uh, so let us begin. In these uh, first introductory uh, positions, I have included as minimal amount of pieces on the board so that we can focus on the piece. Then we are gonna go over uh, some examples where there's gonna be more pieces on the board. And I'm also going to be asking you guys uh, questions to, to answer. And I will be, I hope that you will uh, pause the video so that you can figure out the answer uh, because then I will actually tell you the answer after. So we're going to begin with a knight fork. So in this position, as you can see, white is losing. Uh, they're losing because they have only a knight on the board, but black has a queen. Now, in this position, though, luckily, white has a fork. So we're going to try to find a place. Where can this knight move to attack both the king and the queen at the same time? 